Hello my friends, it's Krebsy here and we are going to be hanging out in a little bit of Company Heroes 2 today. Uh, this is, as you can probably tell by the title, uh, going to be a different <laughs> episode from what we usually do. Usually we do gameplays, but for all of you Company Heroes 2 fans, this is probably going to be your fix of orgasmic content. Uh, for all the people who don't know what Company Heroes 2 and are expecting something out of this, well, I'm kind of sorry, but we're going to be talking about Company Heroes 2 here. So, uh, all you Company Heroes 2 fans, sign in, uh, put your thinking caps on, zone in, home into Krebs, because we're about to talk about some of the new patch changes that are going to be coming up in this coming patch because as I was saying in my last video on campaign in a campaign mission uh, <laughs> I was doing it based off of uh, this new build of Company Heroes 2 so we're gonna go ahead and check out those changes and uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly what they are right now there are a lot of balance changes and I'm gonna note those in the description box below and briefly talk over some of them and I'm gonna be showing you two maps that they're gonna be adding okay uh, now, one of the questions that you probably have burning right now, MAPS! MAPS! What maps are they adding, Krebs? And firstly, and most importantly, will it cost money? You know, this is DLC, guys. But I have to bring you the unfortunate news that, yes, it will be free! <laughs> it will be free, guys. You don't have to pay for these maps at all, and I think all... Uh, uh, okay, don't hold me for this, but... I think I did hear somewhere that all maps in the future will be free. Don't, do, do not quote me for it. Just because I'm Krebsy Poo does not mean <laughs> you have to quote me for it. But uh, um, as, as far as I hear, if that's a reliable source or not, the, the maps will be free in the future. Um, but if they don't turn out to be, then please don't point a finger at me and be like, Oh, that bitch, he said blah blah blah, and now I don't have any monies because I spent all my money... Uh, rather than saving up to buy DLC and Company of Heroes 2. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and go into... I was thinking about doing like a replay because I think... No, I don't have it, damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to go out into a normal skirmish mission because I was hoping we could go out into a replay and I could show you the new maps, but uh, I've checked out one of them uh, and the second one I have not checked out, but we'll have fun and uh, skim over that one in just a wee bit. So the first one, you guys are going to be enjoying this. Alright, so what could the new map be? Let's take a guess. Hmm. Hmm. We have absolutely no idea, Krebs. Well, what if I gave you the tip or the hint that it was a classic map? Now you might be thinking, Huh? Huh? Could it be the Shelt? Could it be the Shelt? I, I, I can't wait for the Shelt! Please tell us the Shelt! Nope, it's not. It's Longra. <laughs> it's Longra. And they've re renamed it to uh, fit it with the Eastern Front. It's now Longras Kaya. Longras Kaya. Longras Kaya. Longras Kaya. I don't know how to say it properly. <laughs> not even the dev, not even developers, because they're running a, a live stream at the moment while I'm making this video, uh, playing some games on the new map. Um, and uh, they, they don't even know how to pronounce it, some of the balance devs. Longras Kaya. That's, that's what it is, apparently, okay? Uh, there's also a winter version of it, so you'll see these two new maps uh, coming very, very soon. This one, it's... Uh, uh, oh, by the way, notice it's 2 verse 2, or 1 verse 1 to 2 verse 2. That, that is so cool. So, not only can you play 1 verse 1 on this map, uh, you can also do 2 verse 2 on it. Because in original Company of Heroes, it was always 1v1. Uh, that, that, that is cool, that is the added benefit of enjoying the experience of Longress, now Kaya, with a friend. That is so great. Um, but there is something that I should mention to you guys. The 1 vs 1 will be an auto match. 2 vs 2, as far as I know, won't be an auto match. It's going to be only in custom match. I, I don't know why it's not an auto match. <laughs> is it not balanced? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go out into just an easy mode AI over here. I'm gonna just take a look at the map. We're not actually gonna play on it, okay? I'm just gonna be showing you guys the map. Uh, so we're gonna have a little fun together as we take a look at what this map is like. But Longress! Look at that! I think they actually, what they did... Um, I believe that this was a, this was a community-made map back in Company of Heroes. And I think they actually got the original... I'm not sure if they got the original, but I think... They got the original person who made the map. Uh, I can't remember the name. Was it White Flash? No, it wasn't. Uncle Sam? One of those. Uh, and that produced it. And uh, they, they asked if they he could uh, come back and make some more maps. This might be one of the same ones. Might be. Um, so, interesting sort of fact. That's why if you go to the credits, you'll see that some of the... I think White Flash Reborn uh, was featured. 
in the credits, possibly Uncle Sam. To have an actual watch of credits, but I know this one of them is in there. Uh, so anyway, this is Longra, Longra over here. Uh, as you can see, it looks very, very similar. I think what we'll do is just a general skim over, okay? What we'll do is a general skim over. So it looks very, very similar uh, to Longra. In fact, uh, they, they completely rebuilt the map, okay? They didn't just port it over from Company of Heroes and, and just updated it, like, automatically to the current graphics and they called it, Oh yeah, we're gonna just call this Longra Sky. Nope, they rebuilt it from the, uh, ground one, uh, from scratch. And it's pretty much... An authentic replicate, isn't it? Uh, now let's take a look at some nitty grittier uh, details. So first thing is, I'm down here, uh, down south. Uh, the territory is just about the same uh, over here. Now I'm trying to remember the bunker placements. This was definitely here. I don't remember if there was a bunker on this side in the original Vico. I don't think there was. Um, but near enough, it's all the same inside the actual base. Now when you venture out over here, what you'll see is that, yes, it looks very similar, but some of the buildings have changed. For example, you know, this used to be a two-story house over here. Now it's just a one-story, sort of shacky-looking thing. Uh, so the, the buildings and such have been updated. I don't know about the individual covers. I can't remember the individual covers off the top of my head. I mean, come on, I'm not that much of an expert. That I can remember each little tiny rock on the map. I can't do that. But in general, it looks more populated. There's a hole in the... Uh, hedgerows over here, so this is looks just big enough to allow infantry to pass through, and possibly some thin vehicles, maybe like a half track, something small. Uh, over on this left hand side, it's a fuel point, it's a fuel point just like it was in Vico, uh, but it looks generally the same, nothing really changed on that front. Same around here, yeah, and this is a munitions point, ha ha ha. All the munitions points look like they're the same. <laughs> including here, this is a fuel point, that was the same. Uh, over in the middle, the house, the two-story house, uh, is a one-story house. Uh, <laughs> did they not have two-story house models in, in Company Heroes 2? I don't get it. Uh, one thing I really, I really, really was uh, taken back a little bit of, and I thought was sort of sad, was, what happened, what happened to this? There used to be the, 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 uh, the spontaneously collapsing shack. <laughs> you would get near it and it would just collapse by itself. It, it, it's, it's gone. I guess it it, it, it it was just too much for Company Heroes 2 to handle. Now they've replaced it with giant hay bales covering that area. Okay. Um, so that's what I've noticed thus far. Up over here, you've got these hedges and the whole... I can't remember if this was there before. I don't think it actually looked like that. Something I, th I just have a feeling that something's different about it compared to Vico. Um, victory points are are they the same? Are they the same? I'm struggling to remember. I know that there was definitely one in the middle. There's one over here. So then the other one oh, had to be over here. Yeah. So it did have. To, yeah, it has to be the same. It has to be the same. Um, the cutoff points exactly. You know what it was in Vico. If you cut off this point, your all your territory on the right is going to be cut off. The enemy base sector looks exactly the same. So uh, I, I guess overall you can say like you know Krebs gives us some insight. Uh, all I can say is it it pretty much is longress with a few holes and replacing the buildings and no more in uh, spontaneously collapsing <laughs> shacks. <laughs> Unfortunately to say, I know you're all probably hoping that spontaneously collapsing shack would be there, but unfortunately it's not. So we've already checked out uh, this area. We've checked out this map. Uh, that is Longress Kaya for you. And what we're going to be doing now is going into the winter version. We're not going to quit the windows or else I'm going to rage a little bit because that will be my, my cast uh, abruptly, prematurely over. Uh, we're going to go on over to the winter version, which I haven't checked out. Um, we're going to check it out now. So, this is going to be interesting. Longgrass with winter theme to it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Uh, you, you even have the background in a the winter theme. How cool is that? You even have that T-34 like it was in, in, in the other picture in Longgrass, but now it's winter. General Winter is over here. That's General Winter at the front. Uh, uh, so we're now up at the top. Is this map going to be different at all? Well, it just looks like exactly the same thing. Apart from a few campfires. <laughs> strewing across the place. 
It's just a wintry version of Longgrass. Yeah. I wonder if they had to, like, completely remake this, or if they just put a setting, like, you know, that says, like, summer, winter, and then they press winter, and then they just put in some campfires, and that's it. I don't, I don't think so. Well, they put in, you know, patches of deep snow, and that's no doubt going to be balancing and stuff like that. Patches of deep snow. Yeah, they probably have to do a lot more effort rather than just pressing a button and making it go into winter mode. Uh, probably more balancing than we we might actually think it to be. So, overall, yeah, guys, it, it, it just looks the freaking same to me. It just looks the same to me. Except a whole lot more deadish because it's winter time. The leaves, the leaves are all gone, near enough. The hay bales are still, for some reason, out in the snow, and they have snow on them. What? This farmer got lazy. This farmer got lazy. He decided not to do anything with the hay bales. He just left it right through the summer, right through the uh, autumn, right into winter, and no doubt it's going to be going back into spring, summer, and so on and so forth. The hay bales that will be there, lasting there for the ages. That's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, so that's basically the same. And I was hoping that this video would be a little bit longer, but uh, to be honest with you, this is the only two maps that they're going to be introducing to the game in this upcoming patch, which I think is going to be coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, this video is going to be updated to, or uh, outdated tomorrow. But uh, in terms of actual balance changes, there's a few things that they've done. General stuff, if you haven't already read the description box below with all the patch notes, they've improved the capabilities of the game by... Uh, <laughs> This is a major improvement. Decreasing one frame, okay, one frame between uh, putting an input into the game and then a unit moving, okay? They decreased one freaking frame. Wow. You know, I, 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 I guess... I guess that just means more less delay between, you know, you clicking it and something happening. I guess that's great, you know. The, if, it, if it ever comes down to that expertise and that's going to make a vital, essential difference between somebody winning and somebody losing, then okay, fair enough, I understand. <laughs> but it's one frame, one frame improvement, oh my gosh. Um, other general stuff, can't remember. Uh, I think there's something else that was quite interesting. Um... In terms of actual balance changes with the factions, they've reworked the strafing run. Strafing run is going to be more of a suppression ability, just like the strafing run in Company of Heroes, the Vico. Uh, there's also going to be reworks of the conscript reinforcing. Oh gosh, what is it? What is the uh, ability called? Relief infantry and also conscript something something something. Uh, <laughs> now it's going to last a longer time. One of them is going to be cheaper for the conscripts. There's going to be less squads that you get from the ability overall. But yeah, the general purpose or idea behind it is that it's supposed to drag out a longer time. So you can actually get the effects, feel the effects, get the benefits of the ability. Uh, rather than being sort of an acute ability and it just lasts hardly any time. and You haven't got anything out of it that much. Um, so that, that's been reworked. Opel Blitz uh, truck is going to be changed slightly. Um, instead of giving multiplying effects or whatever, it's going to get just give a standard amount of resources per uh, place that is parked down on. So that's the Opel Blitz. There's also another good change. What was it? Just had it on the top of my mind. Just had it on the top of my mind. Apart from some other balance changes, you know, like accuracy... Uh, there's been some stuff with accuracy, and I've totally forgot. I, there was one other point I want to talk about, but it doesn't really matter, guys. Uh, you can easily check out the description box below to see all of those uh, nitty-gritty details of what they're going to be doing to change the game and the reason why they're actually doing it as well. So, uh, that is the two maps that they're going to be adding. That is also the patch notes that as well, so it's nice. You know, there will be DLC, there is will be stuff that you pay for, but there will also be stuff that is free. So I guess in the end, it's a win-win situation for... I guess it's not a win-win situation for everyone, but the free DLC is a win-win situation for everyone. For the collectors, for the standard edition, that's great, you know? Uh, but anyway, guys, I think we'll call it a wrap there because there's not much else to, to talk about with this coming patch. But uh, good to see that stuff is coming out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, yeah, this is Krebsy signing out. <laughs>